You see the market. This game is dropping bombs. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Yeah, we don't need food. We have food for days. What do we have? Not the gun strength attacks of four. Obsidian powder. Powder. Plus one will per turn. That's actually quite nice. Plus two break. Plus one move man armor on that's amazing. Umbra root. Plus three strength uh, holy these are both really amazing. I'm gonna get this. Plus two break is very, very good. Let's go to the barn. The smell of hay and yolk's dung is heavy as you enter the stout of wooden barn. Sefer and Nichols are talking in hushed tones to the guard captain, Gudmundr, who glances at uh, the large guard nervously. You get a for board? Yeah, but I don't, I don't have the levels to use the other one. I'll, I'll buy the other one if we can, actually, after this. If, if there is an option, opportunity to buy. I hope we get that. You would spend all the Reno? Yeah, but we can level up people with Reno as well uh, before the next combat. So I would kind of like to use it on that. <laughs> hey, Azarus. Yeah, that sucks when an uh, internet connection dies. If only we had all all had a super stable, fast internet. Would be so nice. Everyone knows why we are here. She says, "I do not believe in coincidences, but I cannot begin to imagine uh, what would draw an army of dredge." Pindal, besides the contents of this card, she moves uh, her spear in intricate motions, occasionally shaking her head and starting over. Finally, she looks at you to op open it. Oh. Hello. The sight of Sandra Bellover's body in the cart silences everyone but you. You hold as the memory of a dream tears through your mind and drops you to a knee. A strange tower of white stone, lightning, fear, confusion, distrust. There is wrongness about it all. Bulwark, hey. Fulgas voice draws you from uh, the dream and she's shaking, shaking you by the straps of your uh, cloak. Everyone's watching. Another dream? She asks. Your eyes finally focus on hers. That's the head until she backs away. A white stone tower, lightning. What are you talking about? Sheffer asks, pulling away from the cart. Her tone is uh, full of concern. I saw a tower, lightning. I, I don't know what I saw. The Volca pauses briefly before uh, shrugging. This is unexpected, Sephra says. The Volk looks uh, accustomed uh, to surprises. Kudmundr, continue your task. Nigel's... Uh, Nichols. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> Nichols, uh, take some fighters and open the mine. Keep that path clear at all costs. As both men uh, begin to leave, she points to the cart and shouts. Not a word of this. They nod on their way out. She turns to you and Volka. This card, I'm not sure why they are attacking, but if the Dredge uh, recapture Bellower, he's dead. Who cares if they take him? He cannot die, his immortality is, mere, is more than a rumor. Dredge, leave, uh, dredge lives have no natural end, but they can be killed. All except the immortal Sunder Bellower. They live forever? Zedra nods, Sefer nods, uh, but looks lost in, uh, in thought. How do you know all of this? Sefer sighs. The Vulcan know many things about all life in the world. I cannot go further into details right now. Further detail? That was no detail at all. There is an army of Dredge coming for this card. I will tell you more when it's safe. They storm the south and Dredge army to the north. <laughs> Leave us uh, with one way out, the mines. Wait, our way out is to sit in a hole in the ground. The Volga have pathways there that will grant us escape, but with all of these people it will be difficult. 
ask what you can do to help. I'll put the Raymonds to work. What did you have in mind? Both Sefer and Volker look surprised by your response. The Volker recovers quickly. It will take. Uh, it will only take the Dredge a couple hours to fully prepare their assault. We need to move food and people to the mine. Help load carts near the gates or warn the families in the houses uh, of our immediate departure. Without waiting for a response, Sephira hurries away. I've never known a uh, to offer to help like that. I thought we would uh, search the Great Hall for whatever we could find, but you might be uh, too honest for that now. You give her a look that requests silence. No, he, he's not dishes. We were pretty dicks uh, earlier in the game. When we switched first time to the uh, Ravens, we, we killed uh, and stole all the food and what we could get. Let's pop to the market. I'm gonna buy the... Was it the... the this one? Yeah, let's grab that one as well. What to the houses? That's not the house. Roughly half of the ravens are around uh, to help you wind uh, through the paths between the old and leaning houses. To the mines you shout, banging on doors. Families stumble out of their homes, asking no questions of you, and head to the mines. After a few paths uh, are cleared, Oli whistles uh, to get your attention. Big house over here, he says, grinning. Might be worth checking out. See anything through the windows? Looks empty except uh, for a woman who likes her uh, drink as much as me, he says. She's passed out. Recognizing an excuse to enter and uh, look around, you say, It's our job to save her. Only laughs and agrees. Or for a house, you say, noticing the size. You bang on the ornate door as a precaution, nothing. Entering, you find a scattered toys and hand carved runes on uh, wooden blocks. S slumped in a chair and snoring is a middle aged woman. Don't chill her mind, says Oli, walking over and prying wine skin from her hands. Papa, Oli draws uh, an axe as a small girl peeks uh, around the wall. She's wiping her eyes. What is this, you ask? Oli takes away his weapon and looks around the wall. It's like a barn for children, he says. They're all back there sleeping. They'd be missed, uh, they would have missed uh, the mines without us. The case of the mine entrance halts at your arrival. Bulwark blood axe with a drunk woman over uh, one shoulder and doesn't have children in tow, Volga Sephra says. And they say the gods are dead. The children the villagers laugh while frantic mothers scoop up their children. Hey Sierra. Morale improves. Celebrations uh, end uh, when a loud slam on the gates uh, announces the arrival of the rage. Everyone into the mines now, so shouts uh, Sephra. Is this where we meet the Balrog? The mine shaft uh, is crammed, and more than once your uh, broken horns knock against a rough ceiling or a timber. You follow Volka Sephira at the head of uh, the caravan. She is lighting one of the many bracketed torches uh, along the way when uh, shouts from the mouth of the mine reach you. Dredge. The gates in the town did nothing to halt their advance. Good Mundra and his men will slow them, Sefer says, but it may not be enough. They have orders to collapse the opening if they are overwhelmed. Will you keep them uh, from being overwhelmed? It is so amazing. I, I love this map. It's so, so awesome. Your captain can handle it or die trying. The Walker looks uh, disgusted. I'll head back there if you want, but if I die up there, she looks at you. The torch will burn out, uh, the food will run out, and then the real horror will start. We'll do it, but we'll talk price later. Yes, we will, she says. We need to talk about many things. You turn and shout, Ravens, back to the top. Heading up to the mine shaft is like swimming against the current. Friday and the villagers push forward and you barely have room to get past the yokes and the car. 
Good Mundur, in his grim manner, looks uh, pleased as to you. No real plan, he says, just kill as many as you can. The ravens around you smile at his words and begin to chant. Yeah, I think so. That there was like no option to actually avoid uh, that one. Hey, let's look at these guys. Mm hmm. We we might want you. But you, how are you, raid master? Stone wall, shield wall. Runic Gale. She's uh, just a buffer. Although, th those buffs are pretty damn good. I wish more games used the uh, Radiant History system. You can choose uh, what you want and choice have consequences. But cho bad choices, uh, which most are, lead to game over. Yeah, this one doesn't really lead to game over, but there is definitely consequences to your actions in this one. Seventeen renown. Yeah, not gonna happen. Do we have any? Crit damage stuff. Yeah, how about you take this? What about the other mender? Yeah, uh, the Nikels. Let's see. He has just uh, just mend, nothing else. But he, he's probably gonna get something when he levels up. Uh, let's drop this guy. I'm gonna get the mender. We also have this guy with the peak sticker and embolden. What did you have uh, on you? Will on rest, armor on rest plus will now. You get the. Han Fang, and you get this. How's game been so far? Really awesome. If you like the the first one, this has been really really good. I I would say this is even better than the first one. Uh, especially the combat portion of the game has been a uh, better than in the first game. Let's just go with this team. Uh, I don't know, this raid master, I'm not sure about that guy. I don't really need a shield wall to be honest. Oh. Well, I guess I need my shield wall. Because I cannot drop the guy. Very is nice. Yeah, and all the new abilities and uh, all that has been really nice. What is that gloomy thing standing over? The stone watchers. This guy? Gloom Warden. Cover us all drage on the battlefield wall the sparks that shatter on any impact. Great. And these are the stone singers. They did uh, something nasty. Wounded allies explode. Lowers armor or sharp raises strength. Is there a save carryover? Yeah, there is. There is. You could have uh, imported your uh, save for the first first game, but uh, I didn't have a have a one. So Should I just get this one? No, if you uh, want to play Banner Saga, get the first one first, play through that, and then get this one. Because the story in this one is directly 
connected to the previous one. It, it just, uh, it's, it's basically like episodic story. Lost my save. Yeah, it's a uh, gone for a long. I mean, it, when the first game, it's like two years ago or something when it released. So I, I don't have the save file even on the old machine, and this is the new machine. So I didn't save any saves for any game for the new, uh, except that uh, well, Stardew Stardew Valley was the only one I saved. You still remember the first one? Well, if you have uh, seen uh, that, there is also a, a recap at the start of this game. So if you don't remember the first game, you can pretty much recap most of the story from that. I wonder how successful the first game was? I don't know. Well, it was kickstarted, so it was uh, all the success they needed, I guess. Plus, they made a second game, so I guess successful enough. At least I, I loved uh, the first one. What does the stone wall do? One armor to allies and himself while I didn't do an alley. That's actually pretty good. So this is the call of the week. Killing blow grants an extra turn. There you see the first hit uh, hit the armor as I was hitting the armor and the second hit uh, the health. It's really awesome. Saving boss announced pretty quick, so it was not a flop at least. Yeah, well, they knew the story was uh, incomplete in the first game. So they pretty much had to announce the second game. I don't remember what that does. Was that the summon ability? I don't like this Gloom guy. Four hits in a row, five hits in a row, six hits in a row, seven hits in a row. On only seven hits in a row from that throw. They actually do. Random generate runes of power within seven tile diameter area. That sounds not very good. Well, let's try your uh, rune thingy. Yeah, it's like a buff thingy. Um, I like the aiming more. The chain lightning is very, very nice. I'm gonna finish off this guy. Uh, I guess I'm not. That guy is going off next turn. I don't know what he does. I'm getting rid of the big guys. Chain lightning can be a bit deadly for yourself as well. Go after him. Ah. 
deflected. Oh crap. What was that buff? I think that's the umbrage. Lowers armor but sharply increases strength. At least it didn't look like a wounded allies explode uh, option. Spin. Spin. Well, bye bye, Raid Master. They disappeared. Well, that seemed uh, super handy, I guess. might hit my own guy but it's a bit that's something we have to accept yeah she would be uh, a lot more uh, usable uh, in a like a defensive situation where I'm waiting for uh, enemies to come to me and not me charging at their face you can only use one. More spin cycle. You guys wanna join in? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I have no idea why the other guy died. Fall back, Gudman repeats. The opening is uh, ready to come down. As everyone sprints into the mine, the guard captain tosses you a heavy hammer and points at the timber. You deserve the honor, he says. You turn and look at the grey sky, then snow, Pindal and the dredge walking toward you. With a hefty swing, the timber snaps and rocks fall, begin to fall. You drop the hammer and race down the shaft toward the, the light of torches. Oh yeah, it was the poison damage. Yes. Yes. Ahead uh, the path comes to a dead end uh, against the smooth surface of the of a flat rock. We should uh, camp, Zephyr says. It may be the last decent sleep these people get for days. I'll need Nikels uh, to assist me in opening the path beyond. But first, uh, you and I should talk. Talk. A small, a few small fires provide a sense of calm for the caravan. So uh, the villagers uh, keep uh, well away from the ravens. There is enough light uh, to see you are no longer in a man-made uh, mine, but a natural cave of sorts. <laughs> see ya, see ya, Felix. Pretty much, pretty much. 
What are we doing down here? Staying alive and keeping Belvara from the dredge. I thought uh, that was obvious. But we keep heading down like we are hunting dwarves. The Valk gives you a ghost of a smile. Until today, no one uh, but a few on the council knew about uh, these tunnels, not even Mendras. We didn't create them, but we have uh, used them a great deal over the years to travel far distances quickly. Sefer becomes quiet, awaiting a, a question. So, where are we headed? Where would you go knowing you possess the sleeping body of an immortal Sandra General? Dropping it in the Blue River still sounds good. It was not a terrible plan by... We'll call her Juno for simplicity. But the closest uh, I could get us, uh, is a path in the middle of a flood of our plains. I have uh, to assume uh, the dredge army is there in forest. Manahara is the safest place uh, to secure Belover's body. Whatever uh, drew uh, the dredge army towards us in Bindal, the council can find a way to stop it. And what about my ravens? So far helping Valka pays less than uh, a bloodshed coin. And that is why I'm talking to you alone now. The corridors will lead us to Manahara in a week's time. See us there safely and I will... <laughs> I give you a genuine Valka oath. You will be rewarded well enough to never need work again. You look around at the cave walls and back uh, the way that you came. We'll go to Manahar. We were heading there after uh, Blue River anyway. No need for rest. There's another uh, training mission here. Let's see this uh, challenge. Then start swinging. Hopefully this one is not an annoying one to do. Can you uh, put this milk in the fridge? Axe Storm hits... Three hits. Insult Bulwark. Prevent Bulwark from taking a turn. Oh, Bulwark is a opponent. I don't know how to prevent him from taking a turn, to be honest. <laughs> this is also just luck based, the three hits. Fail, yeah. I don't know how to prevent him from taking a turn. Oh, I, oh, do I need to... Uh... The insult prevents him? Okay. Yeah, it forces a uh, enemy back in the initiative. Just keep insulting him.
Yeah, it pushes him back, but it's still not gonna really work. I would have to kill kill him uh, in next hit to prevent him from uh, taking a turn. Like no, no way. Any any ideas? Other than winning the lottery with uh, the extra and killing him in one go or something? Maybe she needs to be higher level for this. I don't know. I mean, she only has a uh, shield mastery and then a uh, champion. Those are really not gonna help. <laughs> and first, first throw fails. And then it's uh, his turn again next. I don't know. There's not much you can do in there. Yeah, you don't get to set the turn order either. Level up first, yeah. Second ability. Shield smash. Well, that's still not gonna help. And that's the only ability you, you get. Let's still level up her anyways. Yeah, I cannot level up the axe guy. Yet. So I don't know. Can't beat just a win a lucky dice throw. So that would be a bit too mo brutal. Their crit chance. That seems like a way too RNG thing still. Even with a lot of crit chance. I mean I guess it could work. Like a bit more damage and he would have died. But it's still it's still way too RNG. Take the item from Bulwark. I don't think he's using it. 
I think he's uh, not the uh, proper level. Plus, this only this does. This is only a fitting damage. It doesn't uh, really do anything for him. But I'm gonna to put this item on that guy anyways because he's not level seven. Or any of these items. So no, none of these items really help either. What are these uh, prestige abilities you were saying, I hazardous? All oh, these. Twenty percent bonus crit chance. Only thing I can figure out is just uh, putting ton of crit on him and just getting super mega lucky. Maybe leveling him up more. I think they are new. Yes, I haven't seen this before. Uh, Either seems to be same for everyone. Oh well, we can try that later on if we care. Just uh, let's just leave. In the light of torches, everyone is covered in soot and dirt. They smell bad too. <laughs> it comes as a no surprise when a sound of running water excites the caravan. It has to be some underground river or something, a woman says, and all villagers start moving that direction. Everyone stop! Scouts will check it out. Those around you stop, but others push forward onward. Soon you hear a small popping noise, uh, then screams. All you see is uh, popping torches until the villagers run back to the path. It killed them, a man yells. You grab uh, him by the shoulder. Some kind of plant. Leaves made uh, the noise like water, bit of thorns and grabbed them. They just, they just died. This is terrible, Sephra says, taking the dead uh, personally. We should stick to the paths uh, as much as possible. Too much can go wrong down here. The faces of those uh, passing you are frightened. I don't know, it's just to be honest. I don't, I don't care that much, to be honest. Um, hello? Yeah, hello. The man's sudden appearance makes you tense. I didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's something I do. I mean, something I've learned to do. Something that will get you killed if you do it to me again. Under- yes, okay. <laughs> Understood. But it does have uh, its uses. Just allow me to fight alongside you in a well fight. You won't regret it. You scoff and turn away from the man, only to see Gudmundr approach. I see you met Dutch, strange fellow to have next to you in a fight, but he finds a way through enemy defenses. Then you fight uh, next to him. People near me tend to get hurt, but his injuries won't be an accident. It's like, hello, have a new guy. A scout rushes back to the caravan. There is gold down here. You feel a surge of excitement like everyone else. A vein as thick as my leg, just uh, over well, just around. The man looks left and right, confused. Damn it, I'm all turned around. Gold does us no good right now, anyway. Maybe not for you, as scrawny man says. Not all of us are. Uh, 
got your reputation though. Takes going for uh, certain things in town. Others agree even as you move the caravan along. Later, uh, others report some people missing. A lot of good gold uh, will do them down there, you say. The torches highlight the cracky black rocks and bottles on the path underfoot. They do little to keep uh, everyone together. Sharp turns around boulders quickly blocks the line of sight. We lost uh, a few families, Sefer informs you. We need to stop and find them. No, we keep moving. You agreed to help us reach Manahar safely, Sefer says, but you shake your head. Just a card, these people are your responsibility. Her disgust is visible, but she says no more. Yeah, probably some horrible shit, uh, to be honest, dishes. <laughs> it's like gold. Yeah, don't go for the gold. I mean, we could have probably gotten the gold as well. Like he says, it doesn't matter. It's just a uh, gold. When the, when the world is ending, gold has no value. Water barrels are running low. Hold for your quartermaster reports. And I'll be damned if I start licking these slimy rocks for a drink. Shieldman looks at you. If these people start getting desperate for water down here, you cut her off. I know, you say. Send out some scouts. We'll camp here until they return. Some of your ravens and other members of the caravan group uh, group up and grab torches, rope and water skins before heading off in the different directions. Better catch some rest while you can, Folk says. Nothing to do until they get back anyway. Laying down, you focus uh, on the sound of a small rip uh, somewhere in the cave. It grows louder like a beat of a drum, like thousands of feet marching behind you. They turn and everyone stops. You see the glowing eyes of your army looking at you in admiration. A hundred members uh, break formation to the holes in the cavern floor and place stone balls in the depressions. The balls quickly fill with water and the first uh, is offered to you. You slake your thirst uh, before seeing your red armored reflection in the bowl. You wake up uh, with a shout and Fulka joins you. What was this time? She asks, concerns. I dreamt I was a Sunder. I led an army of dredge through here. They, they respected, no, they liked me. The shield man has no response. Some of the scouts return with some water, others simply don't return. A rope preacher with wooden... What did you say? But cool, plus later it will slow you down, yeah. A rope preacher with wooden planking crosses and open span in cavern formation... Uh, formations. Looks old, Folka says. Narrow and not meant for our cards. Get the Mendras to reinforce it. Both Sephiroth and Nikels move through the crowd and be begin tracing patterns in the air with their staffs. The only thing you see is a slight lift in the bridge, but they walk across uh, first to calm many fears. The caravan crosses without incident. I don't know, it's just, it seems uh, like it might be memories or something. I've slept in caves like this for entire winters, but there's something about this place, something old, unfamiliar. I don't like it. But I don't like all these humans on the verge of panic either. Maybe these dwellings up ahead will calm them down. Yeah, those dwellings look... Such a happy place. Yeah, maybe, maybe dishes. Another uh, godstone. 
Sefer looks uh, up at the giant shape formation, glittering with strange glowing patterns. The Vulcan know almost nothing about this ancient race's uh, culture, let alone their god, Viznan. The name alone might be wrong, but we have uh, a framework of letters based on uh, repeated patterns found around here. She wanders uh, around the glowing pools of the godstone. If you are correct, Vesnan uh, was not their only god, but he became one of the most powerful at the cost of everything dear to him. She looks at you. Of course, if that, if what you hold dear is something like control, maybe there is power in letting go. Gems of various sizes and shapes are found embedded in the surrounding stones. Clansmen are soon hammering away in an attempt to pry a particularly large gem loose. The ring hammers echo through the deep. Stop, you're making too much noise. Some look angry, but the fear of unknown down here is enough to keep them from saying anything. They all move away, so few look back longingly at the stone. The young Mendra stands tall and proud uh, as you approach. Bolwerk, I was thinking well, wondering about what it takes to become a raven. I've never heard stories about the test or the trials to join. Is there a test? Why do you care? Aren't you a uh, Sephiroth's uh, lucky? Well, apprentice, yes. I'm a full member of uh, uh, Mendra training to become a, a Valka. Part of our training requires world experience. Couldn't you uh, work with a blacksmith or something? Nigel frowns at her. Would you kill someone for a coin? Kill for... The Mender's face pales a bit. I mean, I guess, if that's the job. Folka walks up and clamps a hand on Nigel's uh, now sucking shoulders. Most of what we do never makes it into the skull songs. I guess I need uh, to think uh, on this a bit more. Let us know in Manahar. Nigel nods as you walk off. Have to try and do, do all the creed choices at some point? Yeah. I think you would have probably gotten something from this uh, if you went with that. Let's see the pools. This was a sacred sanctuary for those who built it, the Volca says, walking around uh, perfectly round rippling pools, at least uh, from what we've uh, uncovered. The top pool was for reflecting one, one steeds, on one steeds, the middle to ask uh, for strength from the world, and the bottom pool was for insight into the one's future. She hesitates uh, before saying, I've never done anything but study their inscriptions. Let's uh, reflect my past on the top pool. The quiet drips uh, and the soft clothes in the cave lend themselves to a natural reverence. You drop to a knee by the top pool, expecting uh, to drink from it when you see your reflection in the surface. Your horns are back. You must be in your first century, not fully grown. You feel the cool wind uh, from Irons' wings above you and glance up to see Radormir sl slipping away from, the, from one cloud to the next heading towards the mountain ahead of you. The few all around you laugh at your wonder, calling you a dreamer. You smile. When you open your eyes, you are back in the cave. Your cupped hands are uh, still poised over the pool, but the water has gone dark. The other pools uh, are the same. You were gone a while, Folke says, almost missed uh, the few laughs from your fighters. She tosses uh, back to you. You found some food, probably tucked away by the walker. Should have probably gone for the another option. The spear is standing alone, staring off into the depths of the caves. If you take uh, off down one of these tunnels, we are not going after you. Back doesn't respond. He doesn't want to talk. I like him already. Do you know the worst part, uh, part about it all? Never mind, I don't like him. <laughs> worst part of what? Of everything, this world, this life, if you can call it that. It's the silence. 
You give folk a look. He hasn't slept there near Oli. That man makes all kinds of strange sounds. That's just noise. There's a silence from the loneliness. Folka inhales sharply. He's hit a sore spot. Maybe these tunnels and caves make it worse. There used to be days of talk. We used to laugh. Are you talking about your fine spare again? Buck turns and stares at you with the eyes of a man undecided on going mad. Lofn helps <laughs> where she can, but no, there was another. Now there is an endless hole shaped like her, and if I don't keep uh, filling it with this, with work or drink, he walks away without finishing his thought. Keep an eye on him. I'm the only one who gets to lose their uh, mind and start killing. <laughs> he's not crazy. He's alone. Whoever she was, he's still, uh, he still thinks uh, she was the greatest. I'm jealous of her. I would be. It would be nice to have someone. Uh, <sighs> uh, feel that way about me. You shake your head, snort, and walk away. Fine humans. <laughs> Let's go. Motherfuck. <laughs> that PTSD, yeah. It, it's it's a rough rough world to live in. When the sun stops in the sky, gods are dead and the world is dying. It's pretty rough. Juice is walking alongside a woman you have never seen before. He seems captivated by her, but her unfamiliarly nags at you. Ask Folka who she is. Saw her earlier with another man, Folk says, must uh, be nice to get so, so, much, uh, so much attention. She realizes you are looking at her and clears her throat. Not that I, uh, yeah, not sure uh, who she is though. You know that and decide uh, to keep an eye on her. You stop turn head and open your slow jaw slightly to increase your hearing. What's that sound? You ask Folka. She only shrugs. It's quiet, you say. But like a beat or something. She listens to her for a moment and shrugs again. Maybe you're not just not hearing us scooped up in the tunnel anymore. She says, watching and the entire cameraman move toward the incredible bones ahead. Can you imagine beasts uh, that left these behind? She turns to find you down on your knees, once again grasping your head. On your feet, damn feet, come on. You blink rapidly, but everything is dark. A purple glow casts its light uh, on the skin of someone next to you. You growl and instantly have a claw and fang in your hands. Have you lost your mind, Folga whispers. Quit acting uh, like a fool and put your axes away. You try to catch your breath as you look around. It's the same uh, Death's Curse dream, you say. The one with the tower. Clearer this time, but my hands... Sephira approaches. Is everything okay? You look, uh, your face uh, snaps towards hers. Everything's fine, Valka. She studies your face and focuses uh, before saying, Then we should keep moving. The air feels full of warning. You walk past her without a word. Yeah, that, that was definitely the bell over. Was uh, his red hands and the other uh, dredge around there. Wait, the Valk says quietly, softly stepping forward. Something's wrong, listen. You can feel more than hear a sound, vibrations through the cavern floor, perhaps. Get ready for anything, you say, and the ravens spread uh, the word down the line, each fighter drawing their weapons. Welcome. up. You are getting us uh, out of this one, clear? She looks concerned, but before she responds, you see movement uh, over the rise in the massive cavern. It's the silhouette of a dredge force with large shapes uh, you have never seen before. Oh, 
Oh, great. <sighs> yeah, they definitely did dishes. Well, let's get this guy out. And I want my... Let's see this guy. Gooch. The tracker. Track. Becomes invisible to his enemies. Ignore armor. Oh yeah, let's try this guy. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, the stealth ignores armor. It just goes through. Oh, I kept the... Uh, I wasn't gonna keep him around. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks great. That monster! Sunder eyeless and can raise the fallen. Oh, of course he is! So we are fighting a Sunder. I think he poisoned uh, us as well. in the trap tile. Yeah, I did. Ah, I should have added more power. Oh, you have to have addition alley for this shit. Well, I didn't expect uh, to fight a, a Sunderer, to be honest.
Champion. Oh, I guess uh, that champion ability had no effect on that. Actually, no, don't do that. Start ripping off that armor. This is so bad. Boss says, dematerialize and inhibit the body of a dead unit, taking immediate action. Great. Our lady's gone. Totally sacrificing her? Yeah, I am. I am. There's so many explosives there. How can I explode these? <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, nice. He revealed my stealth. Thanks, dude. Oh, he... He... He possessed my dead guy. Well, that's not fair. I wonder what you did. Get out of her. Of course, that's a deflect. So it wastes uh, more time from me.
Ow! Screw you, Sandra. Ayla's trying to bring the game down on our heads. Sephora screams. I can stop her, but it uh, the Volcar apparently grows quiet and scans the people running for their lives. Just keep them uh, all together, Nichols. Here, Volcar Sephora. The young man says, helping the older woman uh, to her feet nearby. Sephora grabs Nigel's and whispers to him. The young man's eyes go wide, but he knows solemnly. He turns uh, to you and says, I'm sorry if I was a uh, nuisance. A large rock falls uh, nearby and he stumbles away back towards uh, Eilis. Nichols begins the tracing patterns in the air. You yell for everyone to keep moving, tossing a toto to stop off to turn around. When you look back, Sephira is standing behind uh, Nichols, tracing an alternate pattern. The young man close uh, for only a moment, hair flapping as if a giant gust uh, is blowing him past him. Then he crumbles. Eilis grows uh, quiet in the distance. You watch the form of the Sandra shake and struggle to maintain its uh, form. Then it fades like a snow blowing over a hilltop. A few more rocks uh, tumble down and you grab the second Valka before she is crushed. <laughs> well, tough luck. Tough luck, Nigel. Once you've met up uh, with everyone else, you tally the numbers. The losses are uh, not as bad as, as they could have been. I doubt uh, that ended her, Sephir says. There are uh, many passages here, which Eilis knows all too well. She's been tracking us. We need to leave uh, these caves immediately. You pause and say, What did you... What you did with that Mender boy? Sephir turns her head. We can discuss Nigel's sacrifice another time. We must move. You give the command and no one hesitates to obey. Well, well, poop. <laughs> Shit is really hitting the fan. Sorrow and uncertainty swirls across the Walker's face until she finally stands still. What, you ask? Things uh, have changed down here, she says. Rocks have shifted, rifts have opened. I doubt Isla said it all this, but regardless, I'm not entirely sure with, uh, which uh, path to take. Menders are all hassles. Yeah. We're lost. Your voice carries down the cave tunnels. The head uh, of the fighters and clans then pop up looking for answers. Concern fills the air in the form of questions. The raccoon's uh, noise hides the approach of things. Things which resemble dredge. Morbidly warped dredge. The bodies of the slain, the source of the screams which uh, finally alert you and the fighters blacken and twist upon the ground. Don't fall to these uh, fine beasts. You shout, charging into the enemy. <laughs> yeah, hazardous. You lost your second Mender. Could have kind of yeah. I'm gonna drop this. I'm I'm not a big fan of the Mender at all. I like this uh this guy more. I don't know. Dishes. What the heck are these? Warped Scourge. Depraved. Explodes upon death and creates a burn area. Mind Devour. Great. Great, great, great.
Oh great, tentacle monsters. Is that a different one? Stone guard. Soul bone. Drain strength based on will difference. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Let's insult this one. I don't know. They pretty much one one show that uh that poor guy. Damage went into her. Oh, the soul bond. Yeah, it, it transfers the damage to the target. Well, there goes a crit. <laughs> At least that's gone. Well, bye bye, wizard man. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Oli. She's really getting crazy here. Sanders and Warda, guys. <laughs> Moments pass while you calm yourself from the, th the fight. What in the desert uh, were those things, you ask, but no one answers. The Volka is using her spear to shift through the glowing remains. Her face strains to hide her fear. Look, she points at the edge of the tor torchlight. To the side of the path is a wounded wretch stone singer. You draw your axes, but Sephira begins to hum. The stone singer responds. Those creatures were like nothing I've ever seen. Before. They look like some kind of dredge to me. So does this one. This one is a mender of sorts. You know one of these legs? I know quite a few. Volka gasps uh, and you find yourself growling, but Zephyr ignores the response. She makes a dull noise, almost a hum. The stone singer responds in kind. 
He says greetings and that he dreamed of you. All the clansmen and fighters back away and whisper. He's talking to it. She's fine talking to it. Ask it what uh, those things uh, were. The walk again makes unfamiliar sound uh, like a scalda trying to find a right tune and the stone singer responds. He says they are a nightmare, then something about the mercy and he thanks you. Their language is different, uh, difficult for me, but I can learn uh, more from him once he is healed. And where do you plan to heal him? In a cart on our way to Manahar. Volker turns and stares at you. I want to hear more. Let's get him in, the, in a cart. This is a mistake. This isn't like you. We kill those things, not invite them into camp. The shield maiden walks off instead uh, of saying uh, anything else. Sefer looks at you. She'll get over it. Sefer thanks you again, and the, the stone singer is lifted into a cart. He hums uh, something you cannot understand. The walker stops uh, to weave patterns with her spear. Moments later, she looks uh, even more confused. I cannot determine which path we take now. Volka gets in her face. I'm usually the nice one, Volka. But with those things down here, I'm past nice. You let us down here. Get us out. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> yeah. A low rumble comes from a cart. Stone Singer is saying something. His Stone Song uh, has shown him the way. We'll soon be in our world again. A strange phrase, but there is nothing to do but to follow her lead again. The smell of fresh air alerts the entire caravan to the cave exit. You went too far in bringing that thing with us, Bulwark. Raven shots. We kill rich when we see them, not nurse them back to health. We are done with your bloody company. A good number of fighters, even clansmen from Bindal, run for the exit without looking back. Focus is nothing, but her silence says everything. Everyone continues moving forwards, the fear of the warped twisted creatures fresh on their mind. You notice something strange about the light coming from the exit. It is not pure daylight. Keep going, the Volker shouts to everyone, then looks at you. Who knows what to ex expect north of a uh, worm scale mountains now. The darkness is coming. The destined day shall come. Poop! 